How's everybody doing today? It is August 12th of 2020 and we wanted to profile this pepper. This will be our 11th pepper to put on our channel for the uh, 2020 season. This one right here was supposed to be a lemon spice jalapeno and it's important to note that uh, the lemon spice jalapenos that we're trying to get our hands back on again, we have a backup plant for those that are uh, producing true to type ones, but it's a specific type, lemon spice jalapeno. I don't know if that has anything different to do than say a typical yellow jalapeno, but um, the flavor of it was one of our very, very favorite peppers and one that we had to have this year. So we grew some from the true to type seeds that we had gotten from Baker's Creek and those are on another plant that we'll profile later on as soon as uh, they get ripening up. But this one right here came from our save seeds. And when this plant first started, it looked just like a korbaki. We thought we had mislabeled this plant a korbaki and had to go with just the backup jalapeno. But it is what we believe is a cross between a lemon spice jalapeno and a korbaki. So you might call it a lemon spice halibaki. <laughs> <laughs> a korbaki is a long sweet pepper and the lemon spice jalapeno is a typical jalapeno that's yellow and had a really buttery flavor to it. But this pepper is looking like carrots. Can you guys see this really well? Let me see. Spin this around. When the light's shining on them, the orange is a lot brighter. Uh, we wanted to save a bunch of seeds because this could have the propensity to be one of our favorite peppers and so far it's the most exciting pepper that I've uh, grown this year because you know the korbaki being a sweet pepper that tastes a lot like a pea pod and the lemon spice jalapeno tasting like buttered carrots spicy buttered carrots it just seems like it would make sense that this could taste really good but I do want to temper my resolve on it we could try this pepper out it could be way hot it could be gross tasting but just in case they look like carrots so spicy buttered carrots maybe <laughs> but we'll take we're only going to take a couple off to help on the ripening with the rest of these so we'll get let's take this one actually on the end here this one looks pretty ripe and like most peppers I'm expecting that they'll eventually get red and being the from the korbaki and the lemon jalapeno I am believing as well that it's kind of strange that they got orange instead of yellow because both of those are typically yellow peppers. Is that a green one too? Grab a green one from up here. Take some weight off that branch. So we've been saving multiple pods for on each plant that's been doing well in order to seed save. And this is what we believe to be a cross. It's definitely got the lemon spice jalapeno in it, which is a yellow jalapeno, and something else we believe is the korbaki. It's hard to see on this plant as these peppers have gotten to where they're at now. But when it very, very first started, it was it looked like a korbaki. We thought we had mislabeled it and put it up there, so another crazy cross coming from our yard and if anybody's gotten the lemon spice jalapeno seeds from us there is a chance that they are crossed so we'll take these inside and try them out love you guys all right everybody so august 12th of 2020 let's just get right into it and give this a try here um i wanted to say how much i appreciate everybody who's watching our videos and checking us out we're just a small family um this shouldn't be as any sort of tutorial coming from us or as your only option to look at when trying these things. Um, this is a unique cross, so I'm pretty sure we might have the only seeds going for it right now. Um, if it turns out as good as I'm hoping it does, then I plan on saving tons of seeds and trying to grow this one again until I can get the more uniform shape. These ones right here are the most curved, and as you can see, they're just starting to ripen. They have a really green color. Then they get a brighter orange that looks a lot more carrot-like and then they start to get this muted as they've even ripened even further. But these ain't quite far enough to be considered ripe, but they are ripening and so we should get uh, a good idea on whether or not the ripe and the unripe have a difference in flavor too. A lot of times with our yard and everything that's been going on in life, we haven't had as much time as we would like to sit down and 
try some of this stuff so as it comes up if we're not given the best um, quality view of the stuff as we could it's mostly because we just don't have a lot of time and everything and we want to get them out when we can this will be the 11th uh, unique pepper type we've tried this year like the fourth or fifth cross <laughs> So it's pretty good sized walls. That, that one's crispy. It's still young though, that one. Tons and tons of seeds. It's producing huge like our Karbaki did. It don't smell very hot. It's really thick placenta in there. Kind of like some of the jalapenos I've been seeing have the thick placentas. And this gives me a good idea to let them on the vine ripen even farther than this because this still seems a little bit under. Try to get a couple seeds, a little bit of the placenta, and a decent sized piece to try it out. So, not hot. Mm -mm, this is hot. Mm. It's not really hot, but I can tell where there is heat in it and it kind of gets to the back of your throat a little bit, makes you feel like coughing. That tells me more often than not, it's usually the lightning. The lightning is the one that kind of makes you feel like coughing, the lightning strike kind of heat. Whereas in the thunder is the kind of more pungent or musky kind of peppers like jalapenos and stuff. I bet this would taste a ton better, right? riper than this anyways. So we might even show this pepper again later on in the year if we try it ripe and it's and it's extremely better. I kind of liked that green a little bit better than I liked it this one. Do you want to try a piece? Sorry everyone, we uh Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties there. The heat kicks in at the very, very end, and it's very, very mild. Like, it's still up with me right now, but not bad. And I'm seeing it in the camera screen right now, too, and it is not showing up at all, the color that is showing up out there. This in person, in the screen it's looking a little brownish. In person it's a bright green with an orange tint to it. The riper one is definitely spicier and it has a little bit of a sweeter taste to it. Yeah, I bet you if these are really ripe, they're really good, huh? Yeah. So anyways, everyone, this one is a cross, we're pretty sure. It, it, it dumbed down the heat too from the lemon spice jalapeno yeah, it's so not very hot. I would have to try it fully ripe to see if it has that killer flavor but it has a uh, really really good texture on the walls thick walls lots of seeds um, up near the stem thing there most of them the ones that we're going to try to save seeds on are the ones that grow straight like sticks so they look more like carrots because they were looking like carrots growing out there very productive plant so um, not hot at all, really. Just a little spicy. Not too bad. I would almost let kiddo try this. That's how low the, the spice is on it. It's just a little bit of a linger at the back of the tongue. The green ones aren't hot at all. The ripe one does have some spice to it, and it's not terrible. So the lemon spice halibaki, a really great pepper. Um, we're going to go ahead and try it. This is a cross that's in our yard, so it's just a random, unique thing. We like to grow as many unique things as we can and we know that cluster gardening causes a lot of cross-pollination 
and it just gives us something different, unique to see and uh, try to grow. So it's fun sitting down with you guys. We appreciate the time. Thanks for watching. Love you. All right, so you can kind of see the orange on that one. They look like carrots out here, especially when the light's a lot brighter, but our camera doesn't do good video if we uh, do it during the brightness of the day. It just kind of light saturates everything, but this is the three we took off. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 peppers on this one little plant. So it's producing like a korbaki. Um, it's got a little bit of heat like a lemon spice jalapeno. We're gonna save seeds on the straighter ones that are like carrots and call it the carrot spice halibaki maybe. I don't know. Real unique pepper. We appreciate your time. Um, catch you next time. Love you guys.